Can I throw a thousand feet with these three discs? Let's find out. Spin it. Hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Bunky here, and today we're gonna do a challenge that I did a little while ago. Uh, we'll get into that in, in a second. Thanks everybody uh, for all your support in the last video, the interaction, uh, the interest in it is beyond what I could have imagined. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it up here. A lot of comments, uh, I appreciate them all, I read them all, I try to respond to them all, I think I've responded to them all. Whether you agree with me or don't agree with me, I want the comments just as long as we're cordial and adults and have conversations, we can disagree on things, right? There are different ways to do things, different approaches. Uh, I will never be dogmatic about uh, what I say and thinking that it's the only way because that's just not right. So <laughs> it's not the only way, but it's the way that works for me and I find that it's best for me or I wouldn't do it. Uh, and that doesn't mean that it won't change in the future. Like as I find things, uh, that work better, uh, my methods and my form will, will change as things improve and, and information's, um, readily available and new, new techniques are found, right? We are, we're always constantly improving. So I think that's, it's good to have that dialogue. Uh, thanks as well to, uh, Owen over at Trebuchet Disc Golf, um, Imagine my surprise when I was watching his video, like I always do, and he randomly shouts me out, which is absolutely, it floored me. Uh, I was g almost giggling. Uh, I was so happy about that. So thanks, Owen, for the shout out. I appreciate you and your content. And it's always uh, humbling and very exciting for me when people that I respect in the community and on YouTube uh, uh, agree and shout out my stuff. Uh, it just just <laughs> just mind blowing. So anyway, thanks to him. And I know that we have a bunch of new subscribers uh, because of that last video and because of his um, promoting that video and his video. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope that I warrant your trust and your viewership and that you enjoy what, what I put out. Uh, with that being said, uh, this is my typical modus operandi is one video a week. They usually come out on Tuesdays. Today it was different because of the holiday uh, and I was on vacation. But one video a week, they usually come out on Tuesdays. Every other week is a like an instructional uh, form type of video. And the other, the next week, every other week is um, a, a round. I play a round, whether it's, you know, uh, chasing 900 or... Uh, the doubles um, series that, that I want to start. We've only had one. I want to try to get more of those lined up, uh, but some type of round video. So drop in the comments below what you guys want to see. Like I want suggestions from you all because that's why we do this, right? For entertainment value and for information value for you. I know you guys respond to the tutorial ones and the form ones. Thank you, Mr. Chuck. Uh, so that's a given. I'm going to keep doing that and I'll do as much as that as possible. But other stuff that you want to see and like to watch. And there we go. Other st stuff that you like to see and want to watch and find entertaining, drop it in the comments below. Also, I have a Facebook page. Go over to the Facebook page. I'll probably, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to start using that more for communication and conversation. I'm going to try to start getting on Instagram, back on Instagram a little more. Beginning next year, hopefully I'll start a Patreon as soon as I can figure out what value that I bring to you outside of these videos. I want to become a coach. I've been working with Josh a lot, picking his brain about things. I'm part of the Power Disc Golf Academy, and I've approached Paul about attending his Yuli University for coaching. So things in the works, and, and we'll see what happens. But to the video now that I've been rambling for three minutes. I did this in my vlogmas last year around Christmas time. I'm probably not going to do that again. It just didn't get the viewership that I wanted, but there were videos in there that I, that I enjoyed doing. So I want to do them again and pull them out of vlogmas and put them in places where people will actually be prone to watch them. So the one is the three disc challenge. And I don't know if you guys, guys remember this challenge from last year was throwing three discs a thousand feet. 
and the challenge was a putter, a mid-range, and a fairway driver. Now, when I did it in Vlogmas, I think I had to end up using two fairway drivers and a distance driver to give a thousand feet. So we'll see if all my form work has paid off because we're gonna stick to the requirement. And I have a Benny, which is a three speed. I have my um, Mockingbird, which is a six speed. And I have my Lariat, which is a nine speed. So yes, I know the debate about nine speeds. Nine speed to me is a fairway driver, right? Speeds one to three putter, speeds four to six mid range, speeds seven to nine fairway, Anything in the double digits is a distance driver. That's the way I interpret it, so that's what we're going with. So let's get over to the rec and uh, see if we can get this done, and I'll explain how I'm going to do it once we get over there. See you there. All right, here we are at the rec. Uh, I'm going to throw into this field, and like I said, it's three discs. It's my Benny, my Mockingbird, and I changed. I'm not going to throw the Lariat. I'm going to throw the Wrangler. The Lariat's a little too understable, I think, for me, so I'm going to throw these three. I've been struggling with how to do this. I'm going to give myself three attempts to do it, and that's it. If I don't do it in three, we're done. We'll see my highest total, and then we'll make improvements from there. Hopefully, I can do it, though. I have three Bennies. I have three Mockingbirds, and I have two Wranglers. So my initial thought was throw all three Bennies, take my highest, then throw all three Mockingbirds, take my highest, and then throw three Wranglers and take my highest. That seems quite cheating to me. So uh, comment in the, section, in the comment section below if you think that way is cheating. I think it just feels like cheating to me. So I'm still going to give myself three shots, but I'm going to throw all three different ones three separate times. So I have my, oldest, uh, my second oldest daughter with me. I'm going to send her out by that goalpost. Uh, she can head on out there now. And I'm going to be throwing from this white line that way. Just for your reference... That goalpost is about 325 feet from where I'm going to be throwing. So that's the, that's the goal, figuratively and literally. That's the goal, uh, to get to that goalpost or beyond with all three discs. Let's see if I can do it. All right, Benny first. I'm going to throw them one at a time, the three different discs, and then my daughter will stand on them and I'll get the distances. So Benny first. Huh. Not awful. Now we'll do the uh, mockingbird. Oh, get over the goal, please. All right, in the goal. <laughs> and now the wrangler. Man, all three of them are really high. All right. I'm telling you right now that that was not it. But we'll see. 285. 319. 300. So it's 619 and 285. A little over 900. I'll put it up over here. So first time's a fail. I kind of figured that. They were really high. Let me go get them. We'll come back and we'll try for set attempt number two. All right, attempt number two. And the bad thing is, is if I throw into the goal in the air, it's going to stop my disc. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but we'll see. Uh, Benny first, second, second attempt. Man, that's going really high. Okay. The wind here might be wreaking havoc. I have a pretty strong right to left wind, so we'll see. <sighs> Got over on that one. That's pretty long. All right. Last one. The Wrangler. <sighs> Man, that's high too. Dang on. All right, now we'll get distances. I think the wind is lifting me up. 250, ugh. 370. And that's 304, that's 920. 
Okay, so I'm 80 feet short. I think, again, I think the wind is playing with me here. It's popping them up in the air, knocking them down. So we're going to give it one more try. I need 80 feet, 80 more feet, though. So we'll see. If, if I can get those first two throws, the first throw and the last throw down a little bit, they were real high. At, although I, the wind may be doing that. So let's see. All right, attempt number three, Benny first. <sighs> Go. Yeah, that's not bad. I find putters to be hardest to throw this far. <sighs> yeah, that's that's good distance. All right, that was the Mockingbird Wrangler last. <sighs> Go, 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 go. Oh yeah, that was a nice one. All right, let's get him. 290, I have a good feeling about this. I have a good feeling about this. She keeps walking backwards. Yeah, man. I'll have a good feeling about this. 320, 290 and 320 is 610. Oh, I don't have a good feeling. I have a worse feeling about this now. 350. So that was 960, 960. If I'm wrong, I'll put it up over here. Uh, so there you have it, three attempts. Best one is 960. I mean, I think when I did this last time, 871 was what I did for a putter, a mid and a fairway. So to go from 871 to 960, I'll take that. So this is what we build on, right? Uh, throwing a, a putter, a mid and a fairway, a thousand feet challenge you to go out and do it my fellow youtubers let's let's revive this challenge uh so anyway thanks for uh coming out thanks for following and watching i hope this was entertaining if it is put it in the comments below what you want to see if you want me to keep me me to keep on doing things like that uh i will do it thanks to all the new subscribers all my original subscribers uh let's keep building the channel i'm having a blast doing this again thanks for your support as always until next time enjoy the journey Here's your verse of the day.